So the seated good morning exercise gives us three things. Number one, it gives us spine awareness. So what you're gonna do is grab a PVC pipe. You may not have that at home. There's a good chance you don't, but you do have a broomstick, so go grab that. You do have a hockey stick or a golf club at home, go grab that. These are $2 at Lowe's, so the next time you do a home improvement, just buy one, okay? So you, what you do is you have the pole touch the back of your head, the mid back, and your bum. All three spots start to bend. He keeps all three spots start to round there, sir. If he rounds, he loses the lower back and now his spine is in a compromised position, but the pole allows you to have feedback to know that your spine is in alignment. That's the number one advantage of having this feedback mechanism. Number two, the next thing it does is as you bend, keeping the three spots on your spine so that your spine is neutral, you're eventually gonna run into the edge. Some people are here and they're like, I can't go any deeper. Some people are lower. I can't go any deeper. Some people go even lower like he does. Once you're at the base of where you can go, then you ask yourself, where do I feel the muscle tension? 90% of the time you will feel it there, either in the adductors groin, hamstring, kind of like right at the corner, and maybe 10% of the time you'll feel it in the front of the hip, the glutes or the back. But 90% of the time it's gonna be here. It doesn't really matter where you feel it because the more important part is feeling it in your body because I'm making a video for the World Wide Web. The cool part is this teaches you where to do soft tissue. So then you get your massage gun right here or your foam roller or your lacrosse ball. You should have one of these tools if you've hurt a day in your life before. And you can get these on triunechop.com and you start to work the area that it starts to hurt. <laughs> or you start to feel tight at me, right? Do you feel that? Yeah, or you can get lacrosse oh, ball. Good. Like that's a really good one. The massage gun is super efficient. If you don't have a massage gun, you should get one. But if you don't have one, check this out. Put a, a foam roller and a lacrosse ball into that hanny and find the spot exactly where you feel it at the bottom. How's that feel? Nice. Excellent. This is my other favorite version of releasing that. And you know, if you feel it in the quad, do the massage gun on the quad or do the foam roller on the quad. If you feel it in the glute, roll the ball or the, the foam roller in the glute or do the massage gun in your glutes. Just do it wherever you feel the tension. Do that for a minute or two and then stop and then reset up the seated good morning. Go ahead and set it back up. Three spots, head, mid, back, bump. Bend forward, keeping all three spots. Spine stays perfect. And they will typically feel it less than that. Do you feel it less in that area? Oh, yeah. Now I feel it just here. Yeah, now you feel it there. Ah, layers of the body. Go ahead. Do that. So now what you're starting to realize is, okay, now you have a soft tissue specialist with you at all times because now you know how to bend the spine, which is like if you're going to lift kids up or you're going to shovel snow or you're going to garden or you're going to pick up a something from you know the house or furniture or whatever a bag while you're you're carrying you need to be able to bend the spine with neutral and you need to have less tightness in your thighs and your hips so many people have thigh and hip problems that are showing up as back problems now he bends and he goes even a little deeper do you still feel it in your legs no it's deep now he feels it deep. Now, eventually you're gonna keep doing this at home. You're just gonna keep finding the new layers. At some point there's gonna be like a, hmm, I don't really feel any tension in my legs. That's when you're going to load this. At any point when doing this exercise, if you feel pain, this exercise ain't for you. This is usually a more advanced exercise as you start to be pain-free. Our rule of thumb in the clinic is, can you round your back forward in really shitty posture? and have no pain, then you can start doing this. If this hurts, generally speaking, you're not ready for it yet. So now that we've progressed, we have spine awareness. He can bend forward and not lose any three of those spots. He can go all the way forward and not have tension in his thighs or his hips. Now we can start to actually strengthen it. So you get out your weight, get your dumbbells, get your kettlebell, whatever you need, and you start with five pounds and you do five, six, seven, 10 reps, 
and you want to know, hey, is it pain-free? Cool. Then if it's pain-free, you go to 10 pounds. I just had a patient yesterday. We did it with five pounds. She was totally pain-free. We would progress there. As soon as she got to 10 pounds, she started having pain. I said, how often do you pick up things over 10 pounds in your life? She was like, a lot. And that flares up my back. Okay, we need to systematically improve the strength in the muscle so that you can live your life in whatever you need to achieve in your life and have no pain. So after you get to 10 pounds, then you go to 15, and then 15 to 20, and you can actually progress this all the way up to 50% of your body weight. The body can handle this. He's doing this with 40 pounds right now with a neutral spine, so his spine is safe, the disc pressure is good. He's developing mobility in the back of his hips and his posterior chain. He's actually getting length in his adductors and hamstrings, and he's building confidence with pain-free motion so that you can live the life that you want. Go out there and get it.